eight legs spider robot the robotics industry is expected to grow significantly over the coming years robots with wheels do not navigate well over obstacle or rocky terrain this is eight leg spider robot made with the tio jansen mechanism this mechanism mimics the motion of spider legs and navigates easily on uneven surfaces IoT energy meter Monitoring the usage of power is not an easy task and it is very important to know if you are charged right for the bills you pay. This is IoT energy meter. It is built with microcontroller system to monitor energy utilization. The system gets connected to the IoT Echo website to display info on the IoT screen. We need to set the unit cost for the system. We have these four buttons: start, up, down and back for settings. Let's set the unit cost using these buttons. Then we we'll start the system. As we can see, the bulb is switched on. The system is started, and the LCD screen will show readings, and the readings will change with time. The same information is displayed on the IoT screen. Now let's consider there is an electricity theft. To showcase that, we have attached theft bulb to the system, and it is followed by a theft switch which operates the bulb. Let's switch on the theft bulb with the help of this switch. In a couple of seconds, theft will be detected and displayed on the LCD and IoT display. The information is received on the cell phone to the configured number by SMS that the energy theft is detected in the system. After receiving the theft information, the system operator can switch off the system with the help of IoT display to avoid the theft. The system turn off message is also received on the cell phone. Let's consider the theft switch is switched off. Now we switch on the system with the help of IoT. As we can see the message on the LCD that the power has been received. The message of the same is received on the configured number. If the theft switch is switched on again, the theft will be detected and the system operator will be alerted accordingly to take required measures. Hand motion robotic arm controller. Robotic arms are frequently used in manufacturing roles and has made human workers free from performing tasks that present a risk of bodily injury. This is microcontroller based hand motion robotic arm controller. It allows you to control a robotic arm by hand movements. This system uses RF receiver which is connected to a microcontroller which controls the driver IC which is responsible to control movement of the arm. Let's turn on the receiver circuit. So now let's uh, move it in downward direction. Similarly, upward direction. Similarly, the gripper. So let's see how the system works using a live object now. Vehicle starter. Vehicle thefts have been trending upward. In 2020, 8 lakh 10,400 vehicles were stolen. This is a microcontroller-based fingerprint vehicle starter. The system provides secure and hassle-free ways to start and stop vehicle engine whenever required. Users can first register themselves into the system by scanning their fingerprints. The system allows multiple users to register and authorize themselves. Now let's start the system. in normal mode so now whenever a user approaches what he can do is he can just press the enter button and he just needs to scan his fingerprint now so as you can see since this was an authenticated user it uh, turned on the system so now let's do one thing let's uh, stop the engine now so as you can see we can 
of the engine too easily. So now let's do one thing. Let's scan an unauthorized uh, fingerprint that we have not registered yet. And as you can see, uh, if an unauthorized uh, fingerprint is scanned, it does not allow to start the vehicle, which uh, rules out the point of the theft as well as unauthorized access of the vehicle. Wall Climber Glass Cleaning Robot We have seen the workers hanging and cleaning glasses in high-rise buildings and apartments and it is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world with many fatal accidents occurring each year. This is an advanced wall climber glass cleaning robot and it can climb glasses from outside using vacuum. This robot can clean your glasses or window from every corner with ease. The glass cleaner makes use of a two-in-one mechanism that helps it climb and clean the dust. Contactless Liquid Level Controller Water level controllers are used to automatically fill the overhead tank when it starts or has become empty as well as monitor the water level in it. This is microcontroller based project and is designed to detect the level of liquid by using an ultrasonic module. The ultrasonic module measures the range of liquid in centimeter by detecting the reflection coming ahead of it. Let's see how the system works. Let's turn on the system. So the system has been turned on and it says uh, liquid level controller system. So let's go into normal mode first. So this is the normal mode here. In normal mode it just states, uh, states the current liquid level. Let's program it for uh, 7 cm. So as you can see the system has started running and it's filling up uh, the container to reach that particular height and you can see now that uh, since it uh, has reached 7 cm height the motors have stopped now for reducing the water level let's uh, set this uh, value to, uh, to a greater value so for that purpose we first reset the system let's now check the current value first so now let's uh, increment it to uh, 10 cm It's going to remove water from this container and fill it here in this one till uh, it reaches the uh, 10 cm uh, height. So now, as soon as the water level has reached 10 cm height from the sensor, it uh, has stopped the water supply and it's showing that the limit has been reached, the desired uh, water height has been reached. Visitor sensor light with 7 segment display The world's electricity consumption has continuously grown over the past half century reaching over 23,000 terawatts in 2019. This is microcontroller based project of visitor sensing light. This system is designed for optimum energy usage by monitoring the number of people present in the room. The electric loads are switched on as soon as someone is present in the room and switches off on detecting no presence. So now let's see how the system works. Let's uh, simulate as a user, visitor going into the system. So as you can see, once the user enters, it uh, increments the count. So similarly, uh, uh, when a user exits the facility, walking in reverse direction, it uh, decrements the count. As you can see, after the last user exits the facility, it also locks the system. This could be locking the door or locking the facility. So as the last user exits, it locks the system. And uh, you know, after that, the monitoring uh, stops. So, we have to reset the system to start monitoring again. Women's Safety Night Patrolling Robot 
Nowadays, women's safety is the biggest concern in many parts of the world. Women still fear to work alone in isolated areas. This is Women Safety Night Patrolling Robot and this robot moves at a particular path and is equipped with camera and sound sensors. Rough Terrain Beetle Robot Some robots are designed to spy, but spying on rough terrains is difficult, as the robot can get stuck due to its wheels. This is Rough Terrain Beetle Robot. It uses a microcontroller-based circuit to control the motors and achieve desired movement. The robotic vehicle does not have wheels. It uses specialized climbers to climb and descend on hilly terrains. Let's see how the system works. So this is how we control the movement power backward left and right when you press the power button you can move the joystick to increase the speed and when you lose the joystick it uh, comes to normal speed similarly for all directions so let's see how the robot actually moves and backward similarly left and right similarly left and right and the other direction so it can you know take turns easily at the same point so this one can you know take turns immediately and can walk a rough terrains of land easily so now let's uh, see a live demonstration of this uh, system in a rough environment Ultrasonic Radar Project It is hard to keep watch over prohibited areas to avoid trespassing. Human labors are unable to provide active watch for 24-7 in a particular region. This is microcontroller-based ultrasonic radar. It can monitor an area of limited range and it also alerts authorities with a buzzer as an alarm if anything is detected. So let's see how the system works. Let's turn on the system. So this is 0 degree here and 180 degree this side. So now as you can see the radar has started monitoring and is operating on a 180 degree range. So since no object is detected, it shares uh, no object detected on the LCD screen. So now let's simulate an object coming in between. So as you can see it's showing the object detected. Now let's simulate two objects. So it's showing both the objects at 18 cm and 13 cm along with their angles at which they were detected. So this is how it can alert the authorities of any uh, objects or any human beings in that particular area who are not supposed to be there. 